Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Crime Centric. This being the show, it's about crime dramas that I watch. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of The Equalizer. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. So this was a really interesting start to the episode. I thought it was, like, this, I'll go ahead and throw it out there. I was like, I thought it was so interesting that they didn't show you what, um... Vicky actually looked like the lady that's being stalked in the beginning of, well, throughout the episode, but I was like, I thought it's so interesting they didn't show you what she looked like, but I guess it's like, right, like, if they could get a clearer picture of her, maybe that would make it easier to, like, uh, find her, so I guess, like, early on, you kind of justify by being like, oh, that's probably the reason why, I thought that was kind of interesting, and obviously, it's a very modern-day um, situation, well, like, what I mean is how this got brought to Robin's attention is that there is a you know, armchair detectives. There is a, a Facebook group or whatever that, um, which is interesting because I, I think they said specifically a Facebook group, didn't they? Which is interesting considering it's not Facebook anymore. It's meta. That still, that still blows my mind finding that out. That, that Regardless, tangents and all that aside. But it is that thing of there are these people from this group who are like, they found, this all is connected to someone who did a video where they killed an animal, which are like, I guess like, uh, cause wasn't there like a documentary on Netflix called that? What I've never seen it, but I've heard people talk about it. I think it was like, um, don't, what was it? Don't fuck with cats or something like that. And like what that, like, obviously this is like kind of built upon that. And obviously it's just, uh, it doesn't just apply to that. Like it, it's, you know, obviously there's a more recent situation that kind of that people, you know, not just cops, but just people uh, with access to the internet, like doing some detective work of their own. Like, so it's not just like an isolated thing. Like it, it happens and it's such, but it's the interesting thing of like, it's, that's what I mean by it's such a modern situation of like people at home can be their own, like be detectives, which once again, this episode showcases there is good and there is also bad about people who, who get harassed and blamed for something that they didn't do. Like the guy, Brandon, everyone in the group believed that he's the one that actually did it, except for the douchebag Abe, who's like, oh, I actually knew it wasn't Brandon, but I didn't tell anyone this information because it's like, right, like. There was a certain, like, mug in an earlier video, like, there was an earlier video from the stalker that he kept to himself and didn't let anyone else in the group know that there's, like, a mug that associates the school that the person might have gone to, and Brandon didn't go to this school, but his entire life was turned upside down, he's getting death threats, he can't go to work because his employer's getting those same threats as well, like, his tires got slashed, someone threw a brick through his window when Robin came towards him, that's why, like, he's like, I'm working to, like, solve all this, that's why he, like, made his, like, um, deleted his social media, because he was such, getting such harassment, but he created a new one just so he could get there, be a part of the conversation, so he can gather evidence and clear his name, and it's like, once again, the drawback to this of just like how like you know it turned into a witch hunt like he got vilified for something he didn't do so he was trying to work to clear his own name it's like it's the it's the bad like once again it's like there is good from it because it's like right the detect cops couldn't do anything about it because it's a situation where nothing can be done until something happens because uh one of the main people behind this rachel she started all this because she was in this situation it wasn't until her stalker almost killed her and I don't even want to give real life examples of just like sadly how stalking situations can like you know sadly go. Um, there just been there's at least one that comes to my mind from the past couple of years that well like it's a story that just kind of breaks my heart so I don't want to go into it. That's why I'm not I, I don't want to use someone else's you know story for like the context of like you know the real life comparisons. I don't want to. I, it just, it's me in my head. I would just feel like that thing of like, oh, I'm using someone else's tragedy as content. Like, that's what makes me, I, it's a, it's a weird thing in my head. So that's why I don't want to like actually use the name or go into the circumstances. But it was kind of a stalking situation that ended very badly, you know? And so it is a situation of like, once again, like you can understand why Rachel started all this with the best of intentions. And so, but obviously it is the thing of like picking up little details. Like Dante, for example, picked up, it's like, right, he sees a Beyblade and he's like, oh, I know what that is. Cause it's like, right, you wouldn't know uh, cause you don't have boys who would typically play with that. So, um, he knows exactly what it is. So it turns out that the woman from the video has a son. And so they're using little details about like, once again, just the, you know, it's just like, right. You, all you have, it's the videos that go by. So it's like, all right, uh, this and this, like, is ended up, a little details made Mel realize, like, oh, she's most likely, like, 
uh, renting a place or Airbnb being a place. So it's like, um, plus like, what was it like the shutters or whatever? It was something related. Uh, it might have been the blinds. They're a very like specific kind. And so they were able to narrow down the date. There's also like some audio that, uh, what was I think? Harry is like, yeah, I got it from the NSA and just never kind of gave it back to them. And uh, he was able to iso isolate some audio. So it sounds like a particular like a jet engine or something. So it's like, all right, we have to find like the flight path that kind of goes in this general area. So it helped narrow down the list heavily. Uh, by the time Robin got there, the child was already going and, you know, it's Vicky's like, hey, like, you know, my son was taken. He heard. But then like moment like Robin's talking, I was like, this feels weird. Because I like, once again, going back to the point of like, but why did they hide her face? The I was like, that's not Vicky. It's the freaking stalker. I was like, and it turned out to be the, cause like, it just didn't sit well with Robin. I thought that was so interesting, but Robin was like, cause like, yeah, I was like, you are getting very specific about that. And Robin was like, the reason why I didn't sit right with her, cause she's like, right, Mel, close your eyes and tell me what you think I'm wearing. And then like, do the same. I was like, okay, she was able to name everything Harry, but it's like, right. You were able, you weren't really clear on what I was wearing yet. Somehow, um, like, she was so descriptive about what the stalker looked like. As she was telling the story, I was like, that sounds like she's making this up. Because that's why I was like, because it was like, because especially when Robin was like, do you think there would be any, because definitely the the um, the stalker and her have a connection. Because re especially what drew my attention to be like, oh, this is wonky, is the moment Harry was like, oh, yeah, the only thing I can find are like face, like pictures of her from before high school. And I was like. Why are high school photos the only thing you can find of her? I was like, that was like where I was like, yeah, there's something going on here. And so, but the fact is that for Robin, it's like in the a, in a middle of something traumatic like that, to be so descriptive of like what your stalker looks like, but not as like, you know, about your son. It's like, and she's already been through this before. That's why she called the cops and got new locks. Yet, if that's the case, why wasn't she jumping down Dante's throat of like, I warned you about this. And because you guys didn't do anything, my son is like, yeah. So for her, it's like, it didn't make sense. So they go back through the um, yearbooks and they find the uh, the stalker. It's Amber, like the, who's pretending to be Vicky. It's like, that's the woman I saved. And it's like, yeah, Rachel had just went to meet with her being like, oh, and obviously she's like, yeah, like people, oh, they enjoy the car crash. And that's what they were hoping. Oh, people are just going to watch me get murdered or whatever. And then Vicky was just, I mean, uh, Rachel was kind of like, oh, that's that's weird. And so ultimately, um, by the time Robin got there, it was already too late. She was going. And now Rachel's like, did I make this monster? Like, we put this whole group together and we gave her this attention that she's seeking. And, you know, but uh, Robin's like, no, like, um, we wouldn't even know about all this if it wasn't for you. So don't think like that. It's like, right, let's put the group together to try and put Amber's name out there so she can't hide. But then Robin brings up, like, obviously, it's like, because also, like, she's a psychopath. They're very good at pretending to be human, like just a normal person. Like, there's something screwy in their brain and who they are that they would just pretend like, oh, like, cloak in and just fake being just a normal person. And so I thought it was interesting you know, how obviously Robin breaks down the psychology of what, like, Amber was uh, envious of Vicky because they were friends in middle school, but the moment they got to high school, Vicky got super popular, and Amber has been doing everything. She tried to be an influencer, tried to get on a um, reality show, everything to try and catch that high of trying to be, like, wanting, wanting to be popular, and so... But none of it worked out. But the moment she put that video out about hurting an animal, that's when she started getting attention. That's why she's doing all this saying, like, that's why she decided to stalking Vicky. Because Vicky is just a placeholder of, like, right, you're just a representation. Because I thought it was interesting because she references Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy killed all his, uh, killed women that look like the woman that rejected him. So, once again, it's, it's that, like, not pathology, pathology isn't the right word, I don't think. It's just, like, once again, like, the psychology of understanding, like, oh, like, why someone picks their particular victims. Like, uh, Vicky's a blank canvas of a representation of I want fame and by stalking you, you the person that kind of, like, reject me. Like, I can use you as a, um, because luckily they were able to rescue, um, Vicky and her son because they were right where Amber left her. And that was what, you know, Robin's trying to make Rachel feel better about. But then Rachel becomes the target now. And so... 
obviously like she's got it going live stream and even saying like oh i'm a i'm a you know it's like right if it wasn't for you and your group i i wouldn't have I've been born and it's like yeah but it's like here you are you created this group so you wouldn't feel like a victim anymore but here you are being a victim she's like but no i'm not a victim like everyone here isn't here because like all they want it's like everyone here is here because they pity you because once i'm done like it's all going to go away like you're going to go back to insignificance again uh but luckily uh they were able to uh because uh when she was moving the camera around, it gave them at least some idea of where she was based on like what was outside. And so they put it out there to the group. Everyone was eventually someone figured out where it potentially might be. Dante got sent there. Harry was trying to shut down the or made the site crash, but uh, it came right back up. So luckily Dante got there in time. It's like that could have gone super sideways. And because of it, you know, Rachel decided that she, you know, now she's getting asked about all these interviews and she's like, I don't want to do them. Like, I don't want to give Amber any more attention. Luckily, Amber's videos are going to be taken off the Internet so they don't have to worry about that. But once again, it's the double edged sword of this thing of like why Rachel started this. And now she wants to kind of go back to anonymity like Brandon's situation. It's like it's he's been cleared, but it's still going to take a while to rub out like that, that those accusations, at least their group apologizing betters it, but also now knowing like, right, Abe also held on information that was super important because he wanted to be the one who caught the stalker. He wanted to be super famous, which is so interesting. Cause like that same actor, like I recognized him from, um, an episode of, um, leverage, uh, he was, he had a complicated character that was just kind of compensating, you know, uh, because they lost his wife and he wasn't there for his daughter always. So it's just obviously like his character in this is so much of a douchebag. He's like, I'm not a monster. But then like for, um, for Robin, it was like, I don't see like you're a monster in your own kind. Cause you're just, I mean, you're li he's literally just like Amber. She did everything for attention. You weren't doing this to say, because there's someone's life being threatened. And yet you're doing this. You're holding information just so you can get famous for kids. It's like, yeah, like that's what's the issue. There. So I just, I thought that was because it's such an interesting and modern day issue of like, right. Like, I mean, Witch hunts have always been a thing throughout history. I mean, you have the literal Salem witch trials and stuff like that. But then, like, to know, like, this is the modern-day version of a witch hunt. That it's like, right, there is good that comes with it, but there is also the potential of a lot of bad associated with it. Because that also, like, that feeds the monster of it all. Because there are people who will do terrible stuff just for attention to fill some void inside of themselves. Um, to get some kind of attention. Because... Fame for some people being famous and infamous are synonymous. Like, you know, if oh, if I can't be famous, I'll be infamous because that's just like being famous, even though, you know, you never want to be famous for the wrong reasons. Um, regardless, I, I just I think I think it's such and just an interesting aspect because it is so, like I said, I'm sure that this episode was written and based around more so specifically, I'm sure like the one I'll always go back to is like they said, like I said, don't fuck with cats. Um, that, but once again, there is a more modern, there is a more recent situation that kind of like had a lot of that like internet helping resolve something, not resolve, but kind of put information out there that like. But I'm sure this episode was like, I never know production schedules, but I'm assuming this was written like obviously it was written a while back, written before then, most likely filmed before then. So it just the timing is just in interesting. I mean, it just happens to correlate to a, a recent event and situation. So that's why I just thought it was kind of interesting um, in that regard. But quite the uh, quite the case is all I can say. I, I, I you know so. I'm wondering, like, you know, Rachel has taken a step back, so I wonder, did they completely shut down that, like, uh, group, or is it still active and she's just not a part of it because it's like she sees how much of a monster it can be in its own regard. Uh, so that was an interesting element to the episode. The other side of things is we had Delilah and Vi going to a movie, and then a lady starts some shit with Vi about, like, a dress, and then it's just kind of like, well, I wanted that dress, so hand it over. It's like, for one, you could have, like... At any point, you could have been nice about it. like, oh, oh man, I was so hoping to get that dress. Is it okay? 
oh, like, oh, you're gonna get, oh, I was, I was gonna get that, it's like, you know, if I was like, oh, but it's in my, it's, but it's like, the lady was rude, she could, she's like, just give me the dress, it's like, okay, and she's trying to snatch it from her, and then, like, Vi pushes her away, and she's like, oh, did you see that, she assaulted me, it's like, everyone in the store, so, now, we never got everyone else's account, but the fact is that everyone's almost like, oh my god, like, no one stepped in, so that's kind of an issue, but Karen's like, oh, I'm, I said Karen, slip of the tongue, did not, uh, I, because I, I think they say the lady's name later on, but obviously she's meant to be a Karen, like, you know, but obviously it's like, yeah, we have this, like, modern day colloquial, uh, colloquialism, because I always say colloquialism, it's, co uh, it's, it starts with a C, I always set, make it sound like it starts with a Q or something, or a K, like, it's like, no, it starts with a C, uh, colloquialism of, like, we associate with that, like, it's a, it's a meme, yes, but it is also you know, representative of something much bigger, you know, that's what it is, like, it gets used as a meme, I'm like, oh, here goes another Karen, but it's like, no, it's, it's, it's a, it's a byproduct of something much bigger, of a, a much larger conversation, and I think, I think that's going to be such an interesting thing, because I'm sure people could be, like, just, like, literally, um, delineating it as just simply like, oh, here's a Karen, like, people recognize the bigger conversation, but I wonder if for some people it feels like you're just minimizing it by just associating it as a Karen thing, that's minimizing and taking away, like, you're kind of making a joke of something that's like, I mean, it's not like, because people don't joke about it, they're just like, oh my god, like, what, why were people like that, you know, uh, what inside your brain makes you think that that's an okay thing to do, like, just because, like, oh, like, you tried snatching a dress from her. She was like, let it go. You didn't. And she pushed you away so you ain't, like, near her. And so Delilah wanted to just leave, but Vi didn't. Because Delilah's like, no, nah, we don't want to give the lady the intention. But Vi's like, no. And you can understand why Vi's going from that pursuit. Because it's like, us walking away makes it seem like we're the ones in the wrong. She is the one that's in the wrong. But what do the cops do? They immediately go to her. And that's what pisses Vi off. Because it's like... Right, because they were very, the cop in particular was very dismissive of her. Like, when he, it was like, yeah, like, you know, obviously, like, we just got to go by, like, it's like, oh, but my, uh, 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 Delilah recorded everything, so here, and then, like, goes to question her, and then she's like, fine, I'm sorry, okay? It's like, wasn't even sincere, just like, oh, you, like, you were the inconvenience because she got called out for being a shitty human being. And the cops walk away and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going to ask me if I'm a person? Are you? Like, the cops were acting like, lady dropped it. Like, you you guys started something over some BS. It's like, yeah, but like, you know, once again, we're the victims in this situation, but you immediately go to her. Like, they didn't try to like, like, especially when Vi was explaining everything, they were very, yeah, 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 we get it. It was over a dress, blah, blah, blah. Like, like just, you know, you know, so they were so dismissive. And obviously Delilah's like proud of Vi, but Vi is like, no, like for her, it's like nothing to be proud of because it's like, she's like, I wanted to go to the movies. I didn't want to be in that situation. I only stood my ground because like, she's like, I want to, basically she's like, I want to slap the hell out of her. But it's like, I couldn't because she knew. So he's like, if it wasn't for Delilah's phone, like who knows what everyone would have said because everyone would have been like, oh, well, I only saw this perspective of the situation. Maybe I wasn't close enough to hear the conversation. I just saw the aftermath. But it's like, yeah, if it wasn't for Delilah recording it, like, that could have gone sideways. She's like, I could be in jail right now, sitting in jail right now. It's just like, for her, it's just like, the problem is like, you know, Delilah's like, yeah, you just can't change certain people's minds. She's like, don't let them make you believe that lie. Like, the fact of the matter is, it's just, you just, it's just that, you know, age old thing. Just, you're sick of being tired, you're tired of being sick. You know, it's just like, she's been someone, and it's like, I've I've done, you know, uh, protests for stuff like this over and over and over again. And it just seems like, you know, it's just a symptom of something so much, you know, worse that it's just like, it just, and just seeing her like defeat, like not defeat it, but like, it's like, you know, it's just like, just kind of being like, I mean, like I, you know, it shouldn't have been this. It shouldn't have blown up into what it was. That lady made it into something it didn't need to be made into. But the fact of the matter is, you know, she decided to stand her ground because it's like we already are in a position of people not hearing us, not seeing us. So I had to make sure I was seen and I was heard because it isn't just about me. It's about everyone before me. It's about everyone after me. And I just, I don't know, just, but that look on her just kind of like, like, it breaks her heart that it came down to that. Like, you know, it's like, because anytime you're like, you know, the world has gotten better in other in a lot of regards, but it does still have its issues. There's no, like, getting around that. Like, 
Because you can't even say like, oh, that's a hyperbolic situation. It's like we've seen that situate that very situation time and time and time again. And that's what provides the most heartbreaking thing. And it's like despite everything, it's like when the world feels like it's taking one step forward, it always feels like it's taking at least two steps back, you know? So, and even um, Robin was like, do you want me to t- kind of take care of this? I'm curious what Robin would have done. Uh, because Delilah wanted to post the video, but Vi told her not to. But she went to the lady, and she tried to be as cordial as possible. It's like, what you did upset my grandma. And it's like, I mean, uh, my, my um, Aunt Vi. And it's like, at the very least, what you can do is watch this video and see things from her perspective. All Delilah was saying was like, walk a mile in her shoes. Because you've never been put in that situation. Maybe if you look at this video, you can you can watch it and you can grow and realize like, right, let me check my privilege. Let me like see like, right, I came at it from my perspective. And seeing like from her perspective, like how scary and how tumultuous that situation could have gotten from her perspective like you you just you know it was it was an opportunity to learn and grow and what did she do she's like oh you're very smart and blah 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 for someone raised by people like that it's like it's like she like that was the perfect opportunity to, to show growth and what did she do she doubled down on being a piece of crap you know, and you can say whatever you want to, like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, there are people who will double down or, like, even if they're in the wrong, you call them out for the... It's like, no one wants to... We're humans. It's We're just ingrained to never want to admit that we're wrong. Like, no one's ever been like, oh, I'm proud to admit I'm wrong. It's like, no, there's too much pride in it, especially because it's just... But it's just like, she thought she was saying something like, oh, my God, like, oh, you're so smart and, like, you're someone I can actually talk to unlike that woman. Oh, she was impossible to talk. It's like, you know... So, but uh, Delilah put her on blast and like she's uh, because she's a realtor or something like that, wasn't it? I think. And it's like, yeah, by like, I mean, uh, Delilah posted like, I guess, like airdropped the video to everyone there. And all her employees are saying like, Jesus, is that who I'm working for? So, I mean, people do lose their jobs over that. I mean, like, that's always a complicated thing. Like, should people like if you're a piece of because it's like if you're like that, like when it's outside of your workspace, like, you know, it's like. I don't know. That's always kind of the twofold of like, should people lose their jobs for, uh, I mean, depending on how heinous it is. If you're a um, heinous human being, sure, but it's like just being a shitty person in that regard. Like I said, it just, it depends because it's always the thing of like, because if they're like that in their own life, like who's to say they don't act that same way towards certain people in their professional life? It's like, yeah, like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. That's just, you know, my my two cents, which no one asked for, but, you know, I'm talking about it with the context of the episode, so, just a lot, just a lot of interesting things, a lot of interesting conversations brought about, like, I just, I thought that was so interesting that the episode did that two-fold of that, like, two very different conversations about very, like, two very, like, big subjects like that, like, versus, like, the, the as I said, armchair detectives and the whole quote-unquote Karen type of thing, so I just thought that was kind of interesting, but um, really, that's all I want to talk about. So the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, look like to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.